Hello, it's Elena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com. Elena is an in-game name, and in real life, my name is Carlos, and I'm kind of switching out of the game mode. I want to talk a little bit more about real life and more around the technical setup on the stream here. Um, sorry, I got a little camera bobbling over here. Um, I made a video a while back, it's like the first one. It was just how to set up my, how I set up my mixer when I went from one machine doing all my streaming and gaming to two machines, where I had a game machine and then I had a stream machine that did everything else. And my mixer, this uh, Yamaha here, the MG10XU, um, is the one I chose for it. And I, I'll tell you right now, I really like this mixer. I'll explain at the end is why I wish I would have bought the 12XU versus the 10. Um, a little price different, but I'll explain why. But the video has gotten a lot of, you know, from, from my standpoint, you know, if any video has more than 100, 100 uh, views on it, I go, ooh, cool. Uh, this one's been up there. You know, it's got eight or 9,000 views. Got a lot of um, percentage of, you know, thumbs up and likes on it. But I've had a reoccurring question. People are talking about, yeah, I understand how you set it up when I did this, but I have a problem when I want to just be able to talk into Discord that they're hearing other things. Um, I've had actually had an additional problem outside of not just Discord, which is on the stream machine, but I've also had a problem with the game machine because I'd have in-game chat, like something in PUBG where we're playing with randos coming into the squads. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of bobbling with the mic and looking off to the to the right, and I apologize for that. It's just I'm um, doing this kind of quickly and on the fly here. Let me talk about what I got So in here. So the 10XU is, you know, 10 channels uh, across. The, um, the U is basically it's a USB output or USB input output, so I can connect to the computer with it. But mainly it's 10 channels. So I really want to focus on the first line here. If I get this one, yeah, this whole stack. This is actually my main microphone, what I'm talking into right now. It comes down this, so every control around this, you know, um, you're compensating your gain, your lows and highs and mid-range, um, some, you're panning left to right, you can go, ooh, um, that kind of stuff. This is the level, this is the main level. So what's going on in here is what's going to the output here. Um, but at some point I need to take this mic and just this mic and I want to send it to the stream machine into into Discord. So on the 10XU, there's actually your, your main outputs are up here on the right corner. The one that's very back here in the in the back blue, let's see if I can get that right there. It was right there in the back corner. It's called an FX send out. Think of it as an auxiliary out. So everything that's, t when you have volume up on these, this is what's going out to the main channel, what's going out to, uh, what's going out to the main thing where I, I redirect in the stream. I also have the second row of FXNs. Uh, and this is where I can actually turn on things like the, there's like some uh, preset stuff. I can do some effects on there. But more importantly, these, this one here goes out on a different cable than this one. This one goes out on the main outputs this one goes out on that fx send out so i can use that fx send out as a second output channel so if i turn this up what i'm doing is i'm turning up volume on that to go out that channel now that channel that cable that's all the way back here in the, the single cable is back here in the corner i send that to two different places now one i send it to an input on my stream machine that's separate from everything else that I can just route directly into Discord. Um, I might be able to bring up Discord here. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can. I'm going to see if I can see this. Let's see. Uh, this is going to be tough because I'm actually trying to look at the screen that I'm looking at. So I'm going to go to my audio settings. Uh, let's see. I, I, I can see that. So. Uh, And I can say my default input. I've renamed them. I have my mixer stereo out. This is my mixer FX send out. That actually is telling Discord to take input just from that channel, just from the FX send out that I've marked out. You can do, it's weird, you can go into in Windows, you can right click on your, your input ports, your, your sound inputs, you can rename them. So I renamed that one port on my machine to, this is my FX send out, that's from my FX send out. So basically what I'm doing here, let me make sure I get my camera lined up right. 
is that on my main channel is what goes to basically the stream machine on the main input. And this is what gets rerouted into XSplit or OBS or what you're using. I have another cable that's going to the same box that's the FX send out and that it's an input on that box. That's what gets routed into just Discord and that's just for and the only thing I turn on is basically mic one, my first mic. I don't turn on anything else. So that's the only thing going to it. Now I've had a problem with it. Now my game machine, which is all the way over here. Yes, that is a, a laptop. I actually work off an ASICS ROG Strix. Um, that laptop, you know, is, is where the game is running, like PUBG. And I need to get input into there for the in-game chat. Not Discord, but in-game. So all of my mates will be playing, we'll be talking to each other in Discord. But if we are doing randos, we'll mute Discord and play on the in-game chat. But I couldn't talk. I had nothing going to it. So now, this same channel, this, um, so what I used here for my microphone that goes out this cable in the back corner here, way back there in the corner, it goes and actually goes out to, um, it splits. I actually put a splitter on it. One still goes to the stream machine to hit Discord. The other one actually goes to the laptop on the, on the line in. So the line in, so I can route that into the in-game chat. So that's my microphone input. So I'm actually taking my FX send out from my from the mixer. It comes out and it goes to two spots. Input on the stream machine, input on the uh, laptop. I had a technical problem because the laptop doesn't really have an input. Stream, it doesn't have a line in. Most laptops don't. So I actually bought a... Is it over here? It may be over here. Let's see. I'm looking down. Yeah, it's right down. No, I don't think you can see it. You can see it. BX. That is actually a, um, a sound blaster, a USB sound blaster, um, an external one. So I actually hooked up an external sound blaster to, to my uh, laptop so I could get the line in for it. If you have a desktop PC that's in your game one, you don't have to do that. If you have a laptop, you probably do. So that was it. That's the solution to this. All your normal stuff, everything gets done on your main. So if I have my stream noise here. I have my game PC noise right there, or my music PC. I can turn those up and on and, and, and get the, you know, the, the output going from there to the main channel, which goes into my stream machine. The main input goes out to OBS, XSplit, whatever. But I use the second line, this FX send out. It's a separate cable line to do, to send just my microphone traffic to other things that just want to hear my mic, Discord, in-game chat, whatever else. Um, so that's how I solved that. The other thing is, I, I said, let me turn off the, uh, I'll turn off, well, we'll just put this here. Um, the other thing I did solve was the, um, I, I said that the, the 10XU, I really like it. I've used it for about five or six months, something like that. And it's been working great. Um, I love being out, you know, just coming in and, you know, if I want to turn something up, I can turn something up. Sometimes I want to, I want to send something I'm listening to off my music thing to the discord. I can literally come in and just send that channel over there just like that. It's really cool. I really like this and I've gotten really comfortable with it. Now, the one thing I liked about, I saw about the 12 XU, the 12 XU is about a hundred dollars more. I think it's like 320 versus 220. I'm, I'm ballparking the numbers on there. Um, uh, US dollars. The 12XU goes to different sliders. They have sliders as far as control, so you're a little bit more, and it has additional outputs and groupings of outputs. Right now, the only thing I have is the main output, and then I have the FX. They have different ones. You can group certain things together. A little bit more control on certain things coming together and put out. I probably would have ponied up for that if I really understood that. Um, you can get by with a 10. There's no problem. I mean, I'm getting by sufficing, and that's why I have not actually said, all right, let me go spend another 320 bucks on it. Sell this one or do whatever else. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I really am. Um, but if I had a choice right now and I was starting off from scratch, I would probably pony up for the 12XU. Um, I really like the, the slider controls on, on, the, on the audio stuff. It's a little bit taller. It's a tad bit wider. And I like the ability to group different things, have more control of the different outputs and what gets going together. I hope that answers it. It said it's not, it's hard to explain it in tech. It's hard to kind of show it. It's, it's the best way I can do it. This is your main outputs. What you go in here. Then when you go up here, this is what goes out to that FX send out. Think of it as output number two. 
auxiliary output, however you want to term it. And you can have main stereo out going to your main one input, and you can have FX send out going to another input. And you can control like if Discord is listening to one or the other. But it's definitely possible. You can chat in the game, you can chat in the Discord, and you can have all everything going together going to your OBS X split and you know and your your people in discord and your people in the chat game don't hear any other stuff just what you want to send to like for me it's my mic one and a um, mental note it, it takes a while to get used to all the inputs <laughs> make sure you sticky note or uh, sticky control these um it helps out so much even today i kind of go game music and i do that so i hope that helps out if you have questions or comments throw that on this video give it a thumbs up or thumbs down once again lance strombo from sodotutorials.com take care Ah.